In this segment, we're going to continue looking at using graphics mode to create embroidery for digitizer software. And this time we're specifically, specifically going to look at the tool that has an eraser option and a crop option. This toolbar right here. So before I'm going to start erasing something, what I need to do is create a shape first. So I think I'll just choose to create a basic shape. Um, why don't I create a simple polygon? And maybe I'll make it a eight-pointed polygon. And why don't I reshape the vectors to have a little bit different shape to them? Something like that. And let's see, what else can I control about this? I'm going to give it a different color, so we'll go with a blue fill. And I'm going to make the outline be a little bit bigger, so maybe four points. And so I've created a vector. I'm just going to zoom in over top of that vector a little bit more closely. Now the tool that I wanted to look at this time has an eraser and a crop tool. So why don't we start with the eraser tool. And when I turn on my eraser, um, the tool op options up at the top basically give me um, my eraser can be a circle or a rectangle or a square, I guess. So the eraser shape. And then here I have the size of it, the thickness. So it's 0 0.5, 0 0.6. 0.7 maybe I'll make it one and you can see here that it makes it I can see the size of it on my screen I'm gonna make it even bigger one point it's 0.15 so it's just a little bit bigger okay so now what I have is basically an eraser and just so for example if I click and drag over top of this shape I erased through the center of it but notice what it did as soon as I erased it it finished that shape and gave it an outline. All right, so that's kind of cool. So that I erased part of the shape. Now let's just take a look at what I could do with that. For example, if I click on the shape and come over to my color palette and change it to green, see, I can still change the color of the shape, no problem, made it a new color. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and convert this to embroidery and it would basically become um, two separate parts now. So I've got this part and I got this part. So it converts it um, to embroidery quite easily with the break in it. Now I'm going to go back over to graphics mode again and take a look at doing that um, eraser tool. Whoops, somehow I popped back over to... So now, why don't we go ahead and draw another little shape like that. doesn't really matter what shape it is. And we'll choose that eraser tool and erase somewhere, cut it in half basically. Now, I noticed that if I selected this object and then I have the ability to go into reshape, reshape that object if I want to. So you can change the shape after you break it or erase it if you want. And you also have the ability to break the part, break the curve apart under the arrange drop down menu. And when I did that, it basically makes each side a, a separate piece that could be selected. So originally when I erased it, it was still one piece. And so for example, now I could come in and say, well, I'd like to have one side be a blue fill and one side be a green fill. So that's the thing I just wanted to show is you also have the ability, once you erase, you use your eraser tool to you know, cr crop something or cut it in half like that, you can then break it apart and convert. So I could convert one of these pieces to embroidery or if I want to convert them both basically what I need to do is select use my tool and draw a box to select them both I have two objects selected and now when I go to convert to embroidery it'll convert them both and it's different colors so that's the eraser tool and I'm gonna switch back over to graphics mode again and take a look at the opposite tool to that which is the crop tool Oops, that's the wrong toolbar. So this is the fly open for me. It's hard to get right on there. There, the crop tool. Now with the crop tool, basically, um, what I'm going to do is zoom out and show because I have a pretty big set of um, graphics and stuff that I've been making here, and it's all just um, little examples of using the different tools. But let's just say you decided that you wanted to use a part of this. Um, I'll crop specifically this area here. So I've I've selected an area, and if I was to double click right now 
it crops everything else. It didn't crop the embroidery, so if I hide embroidery, you'll see it it doesn't affect the embroidery, but all the vectors that were there basically got cut right in half. Like if I zoom in now on this, there's still a vector for this rectangle, but I cropped it and it's been cut in half. And so same thing with the outline. It's still a vector, but we cropped it off. I used that to crop it. So if I use um, the crop tool, it basically says it'll get rid of a whole part of your design. And that's, I'll come, maybe I can show that again when I start importing some Corel Draw files to show how you could extract part of a file to quickly. I'm just using undo to try and get all my graphics back. So that's the crop tool and the erase tool and how you can use those interactively with the other shapes that you've created to create you know, new and other types of shapes. So these are different types of tools. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish this segment and I'll prepare to come back and show how to use some of the other more interactive tools.